What is going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are watching One Piece together, episode one on Netflix. So, you guys, thanks so much for joining us. We have not ever seen any pieces of One Piece, the anime or a commercial to this thing that we're about to embark on together. Or the manga. Or the... They are... Yeah. So you guys get it. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, and all notifications for more content like this. <laughs> the noob content. Yeah, so I think that this is a valid experience, a valid... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Perspective. You well, know, people who have no experience at all with the anime, just checking it out for what it is, raw, you know? I've heard actually wonderful things about this uh, adaptation already. So I'm really excited to see how this goes and also hopeful that it is a good indication for what's to come with Airbender. Avatar. Okay. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction as we can only show a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you'd like to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykoi or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix subscription so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We give you a 3 to one countdown sync, and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. If you're watching on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. Here we go. This is a world like no other. One brimming with mystery and teeming with danger. Uh. Filled with hundreds of islands strewn across vast seas. Today, so dirty. We've made a great stride in that effort. Gold Roger, the so-called king of the pirates. Has been <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You brought this upon yourself. That I did, Vice Admiral. Now I'm bringing it to one and all. Oh, has he got a plan? I declare your life. Oh, that's cool looking. Forfeit, pirate king! Where is your treasure? Tell us where you hid it! That's some really cool looking characters. I found everything this world has to offer. Free yourselves. Take to the seas. My treasure is yours to find. But you didn't say where it was. Is there a map? Oh my god. Wow. So he didn't even have a backup plan. He just was like, I'm just gonna sow mayhem. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> that was not the outcome he was expecting. Setting off a race across the seas to find the Pirate King's hidden treasure. The One Piece. The One Piece. Oh, oh that's okay. I was wondering what it meant. That's cool. I'm setting out to follow my dream. To find the One Piece. And become King of the Pirates! <laughs> With that little boat. Oh, it's so cute. All I need is a loyal crew. I think about 10 men should do. Well, 10 men and a bird. <laughs> Are you with me? Oh, Fly. it's like, peace <laughs> out. Laters. Mutiny. Oh. oh, no. Oh, your boat's got a hole. What? Oh, man. This one for a stay. Very anime solution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yep. Yeah. Great idea. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, my God. I love this ship. Who is the captain of that ship? I need to know. Take everything! No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show him what true terror looks like. Uh, swatch buckling action. Wow. I'm really enjoying the shots and everything. Like, it's really fun. 
Oh. There we go. This barrel of fish is shockingly heavy. Don't deny he was on your ship. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I know Zora must be after me. Who else is worthy of his pursuit? He had a list of pirates and their bounties. And of course I was at the top. Actually, yeah. your name wasn't on it. Oh no! Oh no! Jeez. Kobe, clean up this mess! Come in, Captain Alvito. I thought he was gonna say that it was like number two or number ten. Not she didn't even make the cut. No. Oh, and then they become friends and oh, go on adventures together. For sure. I don't well, yeah, they're definitely gonna become friends, I think. Do you have any food here? Alvida doesn't let me eat until after she finishes her meal. Who's Alvida? This is her ship. She's captain of the Alvida Pirates. Oh, that's great. Because <laughs> I'm a pirate too. You don't look like a pirate. What do they look like? Pirates of scum. They're thieves and murderers. Not the pirates I know. How many pirates do you know? Oh, yeah. We have no idea. What's so bizarre is that she doesn't like the, her the way that she looks. Yeah. You'd think that she's like a friendly pirate, but she's awful. <laughs> I'm ready to join your crew. The sea isn't a child's game. Scars on my face are proof of that. You're not ready. I am, and I'll show you. All right. He's not even paying attention. Hey, Jinx! Oh, no. oh, what are you? This is. We know he makes it out of this. I'm not afraid of getting hurt. Oh, is he gonna? Is that how he's gonna get his scar? What the hell, dude? You are crazy, kiddo. Why would anyone want to be a pirate? It's all about being free. Nothing's free about Alvita's crew. She tells me when to eat, when to sleep. I even have to paint her toenails. Oh, no. So why don't you just leave? You should never let anyone tell you what you can do. Gold Roger's treasure. That's impossible. Every pirate in the world is after that. Why shouldn't I be the one to find it? It looks like a blonde Harry Potter to me. A little bit, yeah. Is, is, that, is that one of the sea beasts? It's just Alvida snoring. Oh. I want to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Everybody's wasted. I can totally see why he wants to be part of this kind of a crew. Lounging on the dirty sea deck. Where's Alvita? Got any one of these? Head you north. Should it land in a few days. North. Where's Which north? <laughs> goodness. Oh goodness. Well, she came quick. Who? Is the most powerful pirate on the sea. Oh! How many of these does she have? I know. He said that you were mean. <laughs> and cruel. And that you're as dumb as a sea cow. No, Captain Alvida, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, he's got some magic. Oh, what? What kind of a monster are you? This tragic kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna just destroy your own ship, lady. You! This is all your fault! Uh oh. Galligan! What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> gotcha. oh, 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 bye. We're gonna need a boat and enough food for a few days. Me? Yeah. You're coming with me, right? He could just claim the ship as his own. Why does he have to leave? I know, right? I guess he's not he's not trying to like kill uh, Alvido or whatever. He's just like He doesn't want a crew? Oh, I thought she died. What do you want? You may call me Mr. Civet. I represent an organization known as Baroque Works. We are interested in your unit. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. You should know it's a high honor to be asked to join our ranks. Kind of got my own thing going on. Oh, I love his three sword situation. To turn down Baroque Works is to forfeit your life. If they were that serious, they should have sent someone better than number seven. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> they blew out the candles. Now you gotta be scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Oh, shit. Oh, he Darth Mauled him. Bye. Ugh. Looks like a Christmas ornament. Is it a fruit? fruit? Yeah, I thought that, that was my next thought. Oh, he's gonna take a bite. The forbidden fruit. Yeah. Oh, so that's how he got his powers. He's like, I'm gonna eat your this thing that's in a, a special box. Perhaps this will make up for it. What are we supposed to do with one bottle? Generally, you drink it. <laughs> Wasting Rude. alcohol. Why would you Someone do that? Someone just gave you a drink. Yeah, he's being really nice. He's being chill. Hey, you're just being a dick, my man. Come on, man. Let's find a real bar. Why didn't you kick his ass? <laughs> Not everything can be solved with violence. A man needs to be strong. But he also needs to be good. You're not a real man. Wow. You see? I told you you weren't ready. <laughs> Wait, Luffy. Here we go. Uh-oh. He's gonna realize what happened. You ate the thing. Luffy. What have you done? Yeah. Mine was the gum gum fruit. It turned my body into rubber. <laughs> Maybe I've made a mistake. If I should have left Alvito. Come on, this is way better. Kobe, if you could do anything in the world right now. What would it be? Did they set the ship on fire? Is that what we saw in the background? Oh, the, yeah, because she hit the thing. I've always wanted to be a Marine. If that's what you want, I think you should do it. Does Marine mean something else in the pirate world? I'm not it's, sure. Because like to me, a yeah. Marine is like someone who's like... Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to see. Help me. What? You're in luck, sweetheart. We're all the help you'll need. Your crew. Is it a ploy? It, yeah, I think so. I feel like it might be a trick. Good thing we found you instead of them. Wow. What you got there? Uh-oh. Or maybe not. Please, no. It's, it's all I have. Oh, those locks are useful. Yeah. Ha! Hey. What gives? Oh, she's going to take the ship and run. She's taking your ship. Thanks for the rescue. Is that, uh, what's her name from Stranger Things? No. No. What's her, do you know who that who is? Who are you thinking of in oh, Stranger Things? Oh, never mind. I don't know who that is. <laughs> the overall look of the pirates in this world and their ships sometimes reminds me of Zelda Wind Waker. It's really cute. I like, I like the character design and everything, the costumes and all of that. Can I buy you a drink? Too tall. Oh. She likes the <laughs> short, bald guy. You like rum? Yeah, sure. What's the next guy? I'm not asking the next guy. Oh. <laughs> so, so. I like her. She's forward. For you. You made them yourself. Mm hmm What's the brown stuff? Chocolate. Thanks, everything tastes better. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. You stupid, stupid girl. Rude. Next time I won't be so nice. You drop my food. Is he gonna make him eat it? Oh, he's gonna eat it. That's a Brody. Mm. Uh oh. Delicious. Ah. He's like, he's a nice guy. Let's have him on my team. He seems cool. He's got three swords. No, you eat one. <laughs> and apologize to the girl. What the hell? That face. <laughs> it looks like a cartoon. <laughs> He's like, I don't even need to draw my sword. You coward. Ooh. So effortless, huh? Yeah. Luffy's like, hell yes. Nice. Yeah! 
Oh, why? Oh. What did he do? What did he do to you? <laughs> he wasn't even involved. A girl as cute as that. Oh no, she's trying to steal his uniform. That's what. That's why she said the other one was too tall. It's all a deception. My father will give you anything you want. Who's your father? Captain Morgan. He's in charge of the Marine base. And then he owes me money. <laughs> Captain Morgan rum. Ah, I didn't catch that. You'll collect your bounty. But the penalty for assaulting a Marine is seven days strung up in the yard. You can try to arrest me, but your brat will be the first one I kill. He can't speak to me that way! Whoa! That guy was amazing. <laughs> and what's with the third sword? I mean... It's only got two hands. Where does it even go? Yeah, exactly. In case you lose one. He had to protect that little girl from the Marines. Who was supposed to be protecting her. Aww. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, your dreams are dashed, boy. Maybe Alvito was right. I don't know anything about the world. I need to get into the base and find that map. Can I get you some help? I'm gonna help you steal from the Marines. No, of course not. So far, he chose the worst partner. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Obviously, we have a whole show for him to have an arc, but I'm like, such a wuss. Come on. It's okay. Oh, Vito, maybe she was right. I'm like, dude, come on. <laughs> Get it together. You are going to die in this yard. I reckon he can get out. I was expecting him either to fight his way out or to like sneak his way out of there. Yeah. She, she, does, she blends right in. Yeah, with her red hair and everything. Yeah. And being a girl. I wonder if they use that shot a lot in the anime or in the or in the manga. Yeah. The this, you know. I'm Brother Noah Zoro, the pirate hunter. I said that together we'd make a pretty good team. I kill your kind for a living. Pirate hunter. You keep saying that. <laughs> so I just think it's a waste of time for you to be hanging out here. There's something you want out there. Good luck on the sword thing. <laughs> Captain Morgan sent me to find a map of the Grand Line ahead of his security briefing this afternoon. All maps pertaining to the Grand Line are kept under lock and key in his private office. We don't have any maps to the Grand Line down here, do we? No, we didn't get any. Oh no. Uh -huh. Dang, nice. You are slow as shit, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you stole that guy's uniform, and now you're looking for my map. Your map? Yep, my map to the Grand Line. It's my map, and I'm not leaving here without it. Suit yourself. <laughs> what do they call an accent, anyways? You are going to get us both caught if you keep stomping around this place. Like, we need a plan. Oh, gosh. Wow, right into it. Axe hand, yeah. He's gonna hurt himself. Yeah. Oh god. Please tell me you're dressed from the waist down. Oh no, you're not! Don't you know you don't play with sharp objects when your ding dong is out? Oh my god. You little psycho. Are you going to kill me? Oh no. I've got something much worse in mind. Oh, gosh. What's your name, Private? Nami, sir. I put in a request to serve under your command. Appeal to his ego. Nice. I expect great things from you. Yeah. She's the best. <laughs> oh, wow. What an idiot. <laughs> I, I mean, she's the best of the worst. I hate the Marines. I wonder if it was hard for him to act with that thing on his face. That was amazing. Admit it, we do make a pretty good team. We are not a team. <laughs> no one wants to team up with him. <laughs> he can't win. Are those his keys? She lifted it? Wow. I am never joining anything with you. I hate pirates. Hate them. Not this one. That's because you don't know me yet. He's so charming. Except he gave up on the Asian guy real quick. No, he, he'll come around. He knows. 
He's not, I don't think he's one to force, you know? By the authority of the 153rd Marines. You literally have an ax for a hand. Just like break it open. Oh, there we go. I have an idea. Oh my. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it's based on an anime, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, here we go. I want sword guy to come. Oh, that's cool. Yay! Here he comes! Oh, wow. <laughs> He's just constantly in play mode. Yeah. Oh, what? Come on now. Come on now. He's gonna turn around. <laughs> Oh! Nice. Very nice. Can't you get drunk from the bar? Glad I made an impression. <laughs> oh. He's quite scary. Oh! Oh. Oh gosh, I thought he was gonna try chopping his arm off or something. <laughs> nice. I'll go high, you go low. Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I now was we understand. wondering, I was like, how is he gonna use a third? What? Stop. What the? Nice. <laughs> gum gum whip. All great fighters call out their finishing moves. <laughs> no, they don't. I hate to break up this beautiful moment. But <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> I can't leave without my friend. Yeah, where's Kobe? The will be here before you know it. The Marines are here already. Oh my God, his hair! I'll be the hero. I might even get a medal or something. Oh my God. Oh, there he is. Yes. Harry Potter came back. Bravo. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna be a marine. I want to help people that can't help themselves. Next time we meet, we might be enemies. But for now, we're friends. He just has like an undying optimism. I know. I get the sense that this show could get like very, very serious and dark later on. Because if they do encounter each other as enemies. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Pirates, you say? Oh, is he number one? Maybe the other guy with the scar. Time. Right? He's from the beginning. Yeah. He also has a scar. A map to the Grand Line has been stolen by a pirate in a straw hat. <laughs> I couldn't. I mean, th there were three of them. They must have been planning this for months. Fifteen million. Yeah. <laughs> like the Joker, huh? Yeah. How did you feel about that as someone who has never read the manga, who has never seen the the anime? I loved it. Okay. I thought it was so much fun. Like, it's so delightful. I think the world is just really 
like it's so inviting it's it's really fun and it's cute and luffy is adorable and his optimism is just like i don't know it's just really endearing because as soon as he comes on he's got that big smile and nothing phases him and he's like Woohoo! Yeah, we're friends. Like, let's go. You're gonna be on my team, and like everything just kind of works out for him, and and he's just really sweet. It's interesting how much his character changed from when he was a little boy, and he was more, I guess, he fantasized about pirates in in the sense of how we imagine pirates to be, like the kind of mean pirates.、Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, you're not a man because you didn't stand up to that guy, and blah blah blah. And it just makes me curious about what he learned along the way, because obviously we saw his, I suppose, mentor because he's got his hat now,、mm -hmm. um, but he's nowhere to be found. So like, what happened? What knowledge did he impart on young Luffy to to make him the person that he is today? Because he's so much more like I don't know, spunky, spunky and yeah, fun and optimistic. optimistic.、Yeah. And then like the other characters that we see. Are really interesting as well. Like I can't remember his name yet, but our、uh, three blade samurai、mm -hmm. uh, bounty hunter with the、yeah. with the green hair. I think he's really cool. I just like how the different characters contrast each contrast. other. Contrast, yeah, they contrast yeah. Luffy, who's just like he is so animated, you know, like he's he is like a cartoon, and then.、Uh, I like that juxtaposition between his energy versus Sword Guy's energy.、Mm -hmm. You know, where he's just so grumpy, <laughs> like not grumpy, yeah. but just like stoic. Yeah, he, he's more just calm and collected the entire time, and realistic. And then you've got his friend Kobe, who's just like he's such a worry wart. You know, where he's just like always so concerned and and very sweet, but. He had, scared of everything. He had some kind of an arc off screen that we didn't get to see because he's like, you know what? I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna do my own thing. I've decided that I'm not. I, I've been following everybody else for a long time. It's time for me to follow my own path. You know. Yeah, definitely. And, there is that sense of like things are happening really quickly, and I wonder because obviously、uh, the anime has like a thousand plus episodes. Like,、oh, does it really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I,、okay. I wonder. I think it's got like a thousand episodes. I wonder how long it took in. The anime for that arc to happen because you're right, it did happen really quickly here.、Uh, right now we're on like the Netflix menu because like the show stopped, and I was wondering while watching the show if the main character actually wore、uh, sandals or something. It turns out, you know, with the anime poster, he did. Because in this show, he's got shoes. Yeah. I, it's I guess not as practical to be running around in those Japanese type. Sandals, you know what I mean, and do all these fight scenes and whatnot. Yeah.、Um, but it did. It did seem to me like with the rest of his outfit, I'm like, I feel like he'd be wearing a different pair of feet things. You know what I mean? <laughs> different pair of shoes. Yeah. No, I like. I like the whole aesthetic of it. You know, obviously, I didn't really have anything to compare it to. I'm familiar with the hat because one of my friends was a huge fan of One Piece, and he he brought like a replica of the straw hat once,、okay. and I thought it was really cute. And so that's like my only frame of reference for、mm. this is is the hat. It's iconic, but I just really enjoyed the whole tone of it. It was so delightful. I had a massive smile on my face the entire time. Yeah, we have nothing to compare against. Obviously, having not watched the anime, but it does feel as though they were very attentive to detail with how they brought this world to life, with the colors and the costumes and the ships, the design of the ships, the camera the, angles, the, ca the, the camera angles, the, the attitude,、movement. the overall、yeah. attitude of the show just feels like it, it was a very faithful adaptation of something. <laughs> so I'm assuming that they've done a pretty darn good job. I forgot who told me, but someone was saying like this might be the best anime adaptation that's out there. At least. That's the rumblings so far. Yeah, that's kind of what、yeah. I've heard, and I'm so glad because I was really scared. You know, having watched something like Death Note, which was a really great anime, yeah, and then tried to watch an episode of the Netflix adaptation, was like, this is straight trash. Yeah, I can't even like, why would you do something like that? And so. To hear from from people who、uh, enjoy the anime and the manga that actually this is really great makes me really happy because watching this with zero frame of reference, I'm like, this is fun, this is delightful, the world is inviting, and and I want more. And I think Luffy is just so much fun、mm -hmm. that、uh, he's really selling me on on this world, this show, and I'm just like. 
I like you so much. I want to just hang out with this character more because he's so zany. Well, funny enough, this actually made me quite curious to watch the anime. It's like there's a part of if I, if I wasn't doing this with the YouTube thing, I would almost just stop here and go and start watching the anime just to like see what it's all about. Yeah. And get like, get on that train. Just watch like, you know, maybe 100 episodes come back. Yeah, <laughs> because I don't know how, but like you can feel the influence of the show, even though we've never seen it, right? And yeah. the main character has a, a way about him that feels so much like something you would see out of an anime. Yes. In terms of his affable nature, his, you know, he's always got to eat. Yeah, the, the food, yeah. so spot on. Um, and then obviously the effects with his body are quite interesting. I think that that was actually well handled. I can't emphasize this enough, but we don't have the anime to draw upon or the manga, but just looking at the effects on their own, I think it looked pretty good. You know, like it was unexpected. I didn't know that was coming. And when it actually delivered, cause like my only re reference for something like that is two things growing up is Dalsim from Street Fighter uh -huh. and then Stretch Armstrong, which is a toy that I had when I was a kid. And to see that come to life in this live action show, I thought that was actually pretty neat. Uh, I think that, like you said, they've done a very good job of having distinct characters from one another. Yeah. Uh, because like the chick and the sword guy both have some similarities a little bit um, because like they're both not enthusiastic about they're hanging out with them. very reluctant. Yeah, they're very yeah. reluctant. But the the sword guy, initially I wasn't like too hot on him and then he quickly, uh, I quickly warmed up to him. Just because like there's something cool about him, like you said, this very yeah. James Dean kind of attitude and uh, the way he moves around and the way he responds. You always need one in an anime yeah. who's like that. But what was great is after, uh, what's the name of the main character? I'm sorry. Luffy. Luffy, after Luffy was like, you always got to like call out your moves when you do it. And he's like, no, you don't. <laughs> and this, like, he didn't shout it back. He stayed within his character, and I thought that was actually pretty cool. No, it was funny, because, I mean, you watch enough, like, animation or anime, and especially anime, they'll always call out their, their finishing mm -hmm. move, right? Yeah. You know, or, like, whatever move, like, in Dragon Ball or whatever. And it is so funny. It's like, you actually don't have to, because you're kind of giving the enemy the advantage, I but mean, yeah. Street Fighter, you say, you know, they call out their moves before, that's a Hadouken. Hadouken, yeah, <laughs> I know. know. It, uh, it does make it cooler. <laughs> I like the costume designs quite a bit. I thought it was, I mean, I, the the jaw thing and the axe with the main with this bad guy, I yeah. thought was pretty cool. The the fight scenes, I started to get a little bit worried about um, because our our main girl with the stick, the stick is cool by the way. The, yeah, the way it retra very cool. expands and retracts. It's just there was some egg on your face moments in the fight scene where I was just like, bit, it yeah. felt like there was stalling and like people waiting to get hit and people taking a fall. I'm like, she doesn't even look like she's really you know giving it enough gusto to to have that kind of result right you know what i mean whereas like our main guy luffy luffy yeah Lu okay i just want to i got concerned that i wasn't saying Luf it correctly. yeah luffy luffy no not Luf luffy it's luffy luffy Whatever. we can spend all day on that yeah or i can just keep talking about what i'm thinking so luffy. yeah we'll so, go with luffy so what i'm saying is when he winds up and he does something the reaction from the opponent after that makes sense right whether they're flying across whatever or just take or taking a fall same with the the asian sword guy but when she was moving and striking it's just like okay we're just gonna go along with this um but i, I get the character that they've cultivated here, which is she's a tough girl, she's, yes. sur she's a survivor. She's smart, she's adaptable, uh, yeah. she's quick. I, I like all of the elements of her character. It's just that when they got to the fighting, I wish that they, they had her, I don't know. I wish that it was just a little bit better, you know? Yeah. Um, Captain Morgan's son though. I thought it was really funny that you were like, oh my God, cast. he looks like a cartoon. Yeah. And, and having not seen it in my mind, I could kind of imagine, because he does, he has like this massive mouth. Yeah. And I, I wonder if there are any moments in the anime where he's like, <laughs> and it's just like that absurdly large mouth, absurdly large laugh. But yeah, he was he was a really fun, like kind of wimpy villain, the, the type even, of guy that you're like, but even you. even Le Luffy, like in, in, in the poster, his mouth is huge. Mm -hmm. You know, well, um, he does have stretchy skin. That's true. When the sword guy put the sword in his mouth, I was like, how are you gonna make that work? Like, as you're attacking, I was, it had me wildly curious how they were gonna play that because it's so hard to hold something in your, yeah. in, your in your teeth and actually like do some, there's a whole spoon challenge game you can watch on YouTube of like people pranking each other of like trying to use the spoon to hit, hit the back of someone's head. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. The spoon prank? Okay. The wooden, you don't know the wooden spoon prank? Oh, wooden spoon, okay. Yeah. I was imagining a metal spoon, but yes. 
Um, anyway, all I'm trying to say is, when that happened, I, I, like, it had my curiosity running wild. And the way that sequence completed, or was nearly nearing completion, I thought was super cool. Where he had the sword right on the guy's throat, the one that was in his mouth. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that could still hurt. <laughs> that could still do some damage. Yeah, no, that was very, very cool. Very inventive. Yeah, uh, it was very, very creative. I liked that a lot. Uh, and then they finished it off with his um, calling out his kick. Uh, but anyway, I, I had fun, and hopefully you guys did too. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and let us know how you felt. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.